what I did is I wanted to focus on one of our uh, journeys that we have, what we call our learning journeys at Morsco. This one is going to focus around our coaching learning journey. So our coaching journey is for any manager that has a direct report. So what we would call a leader of people, right? Uh, our, our whole concept behind our coaching journey is that we are giving our managers the skills to not just be managers, but to be remarkable leaders. Uh, and part of that for us is being a good coach, which means uh, developing the skills of others around them so that we have literally on bench the next generation of leaders. Uh, and that's what we're really focusing on. Uh, me included, as we came up through the industry, we didn't really have any kind of training like this. It was all about the numbers, the metrics, the net income. So we want to look past that. Uh, and the reason being, and I'll explain this in the, in the SPO, uh, by improving the design and rollout of our coaching journey for all of our leaders with direct reports, the business will benefit by filling the bench with modern leaders to match our needs as we expand our footprint. We intend to uh, increase our branch count by 10 to 15 new branches per year. At that rate, we do not have managers to lead those locations. Uh, so at its core, if we can improve what we're already doing, then we will have on bench uh, trained managers ready to go on deck for these new locations as they come up. Uh, this is going to also to stick with what we have, what we call our purpose to promise, where we promote from within, we don't have to reach for external uh, resources to get new managers for these locations. So as we, as we uh, achieve this SPO, on the job, our learners will effectively, effectively be able to utilize our ACE model, which stands for Ask, Connect, and Energize. Hate to throw another acronym out of the world there, but uh, that is our official coaching model. Uh, we'll also understand how to recognize or the, our leaders will be able to recognize the developmental needs of their direct reports that will have the most impact on the organization and for that individual. Uh, they will employ our four-step process of development, which is assess, acquire, apply, develop. These will be used to develop those new skills into new behaviors uh, and then also be able to develop themselves into better leaders of people as we move down this journey. So when we talk about our learner personas, uh, I really wanted to focus on three, and, and these three make up 95% of, of our workforce out there, particularly our leaders. So first of all, we have know-it-all Nate. Uh, Nate knows how to lead people better than anyone in his mind. He thinks you can't teach him anything when it comes to leadership. He's been doing this for a long time. He knows what's best. What's best. If the concept did not come from his brain, it's no good. It's not worth anyone's effort. Uh, their selfish Sarah. Uh, Sarah is extremely effective. She's very results driven, but she's really too concerned with her own career progression to put any effort into developing people on her team. It's all about her. And, and she wants to be able to push herself through her career, not focusing on her team. Uh, Sarah though is missing the point that developing other people is what's going to progress her through her career. Uh, but she can't really see past that that results-driven metrics of her branch. Uh, then we have senior leader, Sam. Now, Sam is actually uh, an RVP. He is Nate and Sarah's manager. Sam has a ton of experience in the industry. He appreciates the results-driven uh, nature of his team, but he's also participated in the pilot sessions we had for our coaching model. Uh, he, he is on the fence, but kind of leans toward, I think this could be beneficial. He's worried about the time uh, commitment behind it that he has to pull his people away from their day-to-day -day tasks uh, to be able to do that. How am I doing on time? About two minutes, three minutes? Okay. Um, so really, Sam is the one that, that I would kind of like to focus on when we, when we go down this road, because if he can get behind it, he has the respect of Nate and Sarah and they will take it more seriously. Even if they're not 100% buy-in, I think once they get uh, their feet wet with the program, they'll start to see the benefit of it. But we're gonna need say, uh, Sam's buy-in to really make that happen. When we talk about what our actual upgrade actions are, uh, I score us right now at about a three. If we can achieve these, I think we'll be closer to a seven. Some of the things that I wanna do uh, is, again, making some additions to our coaching journey. 
I want to add pre-work and post-work. Uh, you've heard me talk about workplace and having a call to action. That pre-work, though, I want it to be microburst training that exposes our learners to the concepts of what they're getting ready to sit through a two-hour session about in a virtually instructor-led uh, workshop. Uh, I would like to have our, our senior leader, Sam's, out there do a podcast style interview about their experiences and also about some of the techniques that they've learned that they maybe even used in the past and didn't realize it that tie into our coaching model and then post these on workplace. Uh, I would like to implement badges for completion in our learning management system so that others can see which markets are doing best, which leaders are, are achieving uh, completions and, uh, and, and actually be able to show off the badges for that. I also wanna implement outbound and outbound data feed from uh, Workday, or I'm sorry, from our LMS back to Workday. I actually mistyped that in there, it's the other way around. So that when these badges and certifications are posted, it actually feeds back into Workday. And this would actually provide us with some reporting on who's ready to take the next step to a manager position when those branches become open. Uh, and then I would also like to implement some quarterly 360 feedback for Sam and for our other managers so that they can kind of track, uh, are the coaching courses actually affecting their on-the-job behavior? And is it improving their ability to coach the people around them? You've got about 30 more seconds. Okay, so our surround action again, I wanna create microburst pre-work for each module. Uh, I wanna incorporate some more peer-to-peer -peer exercises in our ILT sessions in the form of breakout rooms and things like that. I wanna record our sessions and load them to our LMS so that later people can reference and review these. I also want to provide some downloadable tip sheets and resource sheets uh, on each one of these assets in our LMS so that people can refer to those. Again, I want to post uh, uh, some post-work call to actions and also the podcast with our senior leaders. When we talk about how we track our transformation, uh, the quarterly 360 reviews, I think, work in two ways. They track, they also uh, work as a learning asset, which is why I brought them up earlier. Uh, because the managers will be able to learn from their quarterly assessments. Uh, I think we'll see a rise in employee retention, which is trackable. Our ENPS scores, uh, we can include some information in that. Uh, we should also see a rise in internal promotion rates and in corresponding with that, less workday requests to recruit new external leaders. And that's, uh, that's all I got. Ladies.